Hi loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Morgan and I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle so if that is your thing please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload videos twice a week and I would love to have you here. Today I'm going through my most loved handbags this year. You know with most people staying inside, myself included, quite a bit this year it's really gotten me thinking about like what are the necessary handbags for me in my collection and if I had to pare it down to you know under 10 bags what would be the bags that would stick around in my collection you guys know I love my colorful bags so I think that this list might actually come as a surprise to you here are my top six handbags that I get the most use out of in my collection the first bag on my list is my Chanel Coco handle in black caviar leather with gold hardware this bag replaced my dream of having that black classic medium Chanel that I think most handbag collectors and designer lovers aspire to have in their collection. And as the classic flap just keeps getting more and more expensive, I see less and less value in it. But when I came across this bag and the versatility of it and the size, it really struck a note for me that like this could be my black day bag from Chanel that I would keep in my collection forever and hopefully if I have a daughter one day pass it down to her and that is why I bought this bag. It does have a shoulder strap and what I love about this bag is that the shoulder strap, let me just show you, the shoulder strap has a pad on it so when you attach this it's so much more comfortable than a classic flap bag because a classic flap this part of the chain would rest on your shoulder. It doesn't come with this little leather piece. So I really highly recommend this bag if you're looking for a day bag. I know it's a different silhouette. and Some people aren't a fan of the silhouette of the bag, but I personally love it. I think it's very ladylike, it's very timeless, it's very beautiful, and it has more versatility in how you can wear it. So with this handle, you can hold it in the hand, you can put it on the crook of your arm, you can use a shoulder strap. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't go cross body, but I don't find the need for a bag this big to be a cross body bag. So this is actually the perfect versatility in a black day bag. I love this bag so much that I also bought it in pink. And while I do get a lot of use out of my pink one, I don't think that you can beat a black bag as much as it kills me to say that honestly because you guys know pink and like Tiffany blue those are my two favorite colors I have quite a lot of bags in like both colors and black I'm not really known for even though I do wear quite a bit of it in my everyday life most of my like athleisure and sportswear is black because I just think it's very chic it's easy to pull together and so this bag really does fit well in my wardrobe whether you would think it does or not and I get so much use out of it. The size is amazing. It holds everything I need for a day where I'm going to be out all day. Even though I'm trying to limit how much I'm going out, I still reach for this. So I could definitely say this is a bag that if I could only have one designer bag in my collection, it would probably be this. The next bag that I have to show you, I actually haven't shown on this channel yet, I don't think. But it is my Senriv Mini Maestra. And you guys have seen my pink midi maestra, but I will say this size is more perfect for me. I'm running errands, but I need a little bit extra with me. This is the bag I take. This is a bag that I take when I'm going to the salon or I'm going to get my nails done. I used to have a white Givenchy bag in a patent leather and I thought, oh, if I'm getting a white bag, patent leather would be best. But the patent leather here in Dubai doesn't hold up very well and it kind of got discolored just after about a year and a half of use and then I just wasn't loving it as much so I got myself this mini because I knew how durable the Senriv leather is. Full disclosure I am an ambassador with them. This bag is not gifted and this video is not sponsored by them in any way. The, the way I work with them is actually on my Instagram. I'm not required to do YouTube content so this is actually a bag that I have been getting a ton of use out of. If you do follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this on my stories quite a bit. I love pairing this with my black athleisure wear to make the logos pop. And typically when I'm running errands, I'll be in athleisure, whether it's biker shorts or, you know, joggers or something like that. So this is just my perfect errands bag. And it's 
also super versatile. The strap is convertible so you can make this a backpack or you can wear it on your shoulder. I love this size for crossbody. The midi size, the one that I have in pink, can also go crossbody, but I feel like that bag is a bit big, at least on my body. For a mini bag, this fits quite a lot. I can fit a water bottle in here kind of on the side like this. There's tons of pockets to stay organized. This will definitely be a bag that you will see me taking on trips once it's safe to travel again because I find it so durable and versatile and it looks good with so many outfits that it's just an easy bag to take on a trip and not have to overpack with a bunch of different bags. So for each of the bags I'm showing you, I kind of have two per category, so the first two are kind of day bags. Next I'm going to show you my favorite two mini bags and then I have two tote bags to show you at the end. So my third bag on my list is my teeny tiny square wallet on a chain. This is the trendy style that says Chanel up here at the top. and. I love this bag. There's just something about it being so small and so cute. It looks adorable. It polishes off any outfit. Every time I look at this bag, I fall in love with it again. It's so beautiful. This style has actually sold pretty well, so I've seen it continue to come up in current Chanel collections. So if you are looking to get your hands on this, I would say try at the boutique. Markup on these on the pre-love market is quite high. This is probably my preferred bag for going out at night, but it also transitions well in the day. If I am going like to the mall or something, there's card slots inside. I can just put a lipstick, you know, breath mints, and my keys and then just go run a few quick errands at the mall. This bag, even though we haven't been going out much this year, has still gotten quite a bit of use. My fourth bag is this Saint Laurent wallet on a chain. So this bag is kind of my colorful version of a wallet on a chain that I get the most use out of. I do have some Chanel wallet on chains as well, but the reason I reach for this more than those is because the leather is a little more worry-free. Those are also caviar, but there's something about, I don't know if it's the coating on this leather or just the type of leather that it is, the pebbling and the finish of this. This one is so much easier to care for than the Chanel wallet on a chain in caviar. So I just find myself reaching for this more often. It also like the Coco handle. I think this is a trend for me. I like that the strap has a little piece of leather for the shoulder. Not that a wallet on a chain gets heavy enough where that really digs in, but I like that. And what I really like about this is that you can remove the chain completely. So not only is this like a wallet on a chain style, it's also a clutch style. I had to only have one wallet on a chain in my collection. I would probably go for a Saint Laurent wallet on a chain because the versatility of it. This bag also fits my Samsung Note 9, which is such a giant phone. I can pretty much get away with this for a day bag if I just need my like keys, lipstick, breath mints phone and then like money and cards. If you are a minimalist and you can pare down your things for what you need in a day, this is such a great bag. The fifth bag on my list I also have not revealed on my channel and it is my Louis Vuitton on the go black tote. This is the biggest size. Um, I think it's the GM. I think that's the big one and the MM is the smaller one. But this is the GM. The reason I got this bag was actually for travel, but then we haven't been traveling. Most totes fit like a 13 inch laptop and I needed something bigger because my laptop is bigger. And when this bag came out, I knew immediately I was gonna have this in my collection. I'm not a girl who wears a lot of brown. I either wear very bright colors or I wear black. There's not really in between like beige and brown and topes and things like that you won't catch a lot of that in my wardrobe. So when this first came out, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to play the waiting game. Cause the great thing about Louis Vuitton is every season there's a new color. And so I waited and I waited. There was one that came out where it was red on one side and then like pink on the other. And I thought about getting that, but it just didn't work out. It sold out so quickly. And I think it truly just wasn't meant to be. Saw that it was gonna come out in black, and this is a leather, not a canvas. I was like, this is a bag I'm gonna have in my collection for a lifetime. It's gonna be my carry-on bag for the airplane, my laptop bag when I need to take it with me, my just durable 
don't have to worry about it. Throw everything in there. It fits the world. It has these shoulder straps, which is another reason why I loved it. Because it, it's very similar to the Dior book tote, but I didn't go for the Dior book tote even though it was so popular because it doesn't have a long shoulder strap. You put a, a bigger laptop, like a 15 inch laptop, into a tote bag, no matter how light it is, it's gonna get tiresome trying to hold it like this. So I knew very clearly I wanted shoulder straps and this bag has proven to be such a great bag so far. I haven't used it as much as I thought I would, but that's simply because I haven't been traveling this year yet. But I know that when I start traveling again, this is just gonna get used even more and I'm so happy to have it. I love the little tiny logos on this side. We have the bigger logos on this side. And it's beautiful gold hardware too. I'm not too much of a silver hardware girl. If I have the pick, I like to go for gold. I sometimes do silver, but I knew with black, I love gold hardware on a black bag. So this is absolutely perfect. And I would highly recommend this kind of a tote if you have a bigger laptop. The next bag is one that I don't think that I ever really thought I would have in my collection because it's a bag that most girls start out with on their designer journey so a lot of people have it especially in the classic monogram and that is the Neverfull. So the Neverfull in the brown regular monogram that's like this size is kind of everywhere. I knew it was a practical bag that's why it's so popular but the limited editions only come in the medium size and the, this size does not fit my 15 inch MacBook. I knew whichever Neverfull, if I ever found a limited edition to fit my style, it would have to be because I wanted to wear it for other purposes other than my laptop bag. And when I saw this, I was like, I don't think I could have designed a bag that is more me than this bag. It has all the colors I love in it. It's so perfect. I've taken this to the beach. I've taken this just so you know, I've got errands. I've got to dump a ton of stuff in here. I need to take paperwork with me somewhere. This is the bag. And when I don't have a lot in there, I still just use this bag sometimes because I'll tell you why it's so popular. It's so lightweight. It's so comfortable. It's so easy to use. I get why this is a top choice for a lot of people and I've joined the club. This is my Neverfull. I'm happy to have one in my collection and it is a bag that I would recommend if you're just starting out your collection as well. It can be harder to get these limited edition Neverfulls. I think I got a little bit lucky because it launched right as lockdowns were starting and things like that so typically unless you have a relationship with an SA the limited edition ones fly off the shelves and I've tried a couple in the past to get my hands on them and I wasn't able to because at that time I didn't have a relationship with an SA. The limited editions are not as accessible as the regular brown monogram print ones but if you want something a little different, you want to stand out from the crowd, I highly recommend trying to get in touch with an SA you know, letting them know that like you're looking for a unique Neverfull and to keep you posted when they're coming out because they do these limited edition ones nearly every collection in different prints. You have to be quick and once they're gone, they're gone. But if you have a relationship with an essay, that's the best way that you can get one of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my list. These are just honestly, when I look at my collection, the bags that I get the most use out of and I see as very practical choices for a designer collection. These are going to be bags, unless something goes wrong with them, that I will have in my collection for years to come. These are bags that I would never consider selling. They're just essentials for me in my wardrobe, and if I had to get rid of all of my other bags, these could carry me through pretty much any occasion to have this selection. Leave any questions you have about the handbags in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them there. Please subscribe and turn on notifications and follow me on Instagram to see how I style my pieces in my daily life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.